You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for Atheist voices all around the globe. Hello. Hello. Um... My name is I'll be with I will hold my name for now. I don't know who will listen to this, but I am a Nigerian atheist. Uh uh I go by the ranting atheist online. I'm usually more active online and I I've always seen Atheist Republic and but I didn't know they had this uh this function of uh, dropping voice notes. I stumbled upon upon the voicemail podcast. And this is a really great idea. And, you know, just like most countries, the Nigeria is such a religious country. Like, it is so irritating. And the hypocrisy is, is beyond... Ugh. It's, it's a secular country on paper, but... In, in reality, there's a lot of religious undertone in everything that's been done. It's basically, it's almost divided into two. There's Christians that live in the south and Muslims that live in the north. Yes, there are some Christians in the north and there are some Muslims in the south, but it's majority Christian in the south and majority Muslim in the north. And if you're an atheist living in the north, it is dangerous for you to be quite public because you can get killed. And that's an example of, we have an example of Mubarak Bala who was arrested and to this day, we don't know what is happening with him. He may be dead already as we speak. But in the south, all you have is people looking at you funny. People, you lose friends. You have social, it's really the social um, punishment. If you have parents who are crazy religious, they might disown you, chase you out of the house if they still have leverage on you. You lose friends, you lose girlfriends, you lose wives, you lose family, you lose husbands, and so on. And it's really tough for women, especially, to come out as atheists because. What they will just say is, who will marry you? It's always like marriage is the reward for women. The misogyny here is, I, I could say it's out of this world. The end goal of women is for them to get married and start shitting out babies. That's the way the culture is around there. So if a woman comes to say they don't believe in God, it's mostly uh, who will marry you. But as a guy... Some will say, I'm just going through a phase, or I'm crazy, or I should not just say that as I so that they will not beat me. And the, the pastors here in the South here are so powerful. Their influence on the populace is so strong. They say things, people lop it up, believe every word they say, and politicians use them to sway people for votes, they know how powerful they are. They know how gullible the populace is. Christians are so gullible. They believe everything their pastor says without any evidence. Once he says it with so much confidence, so much uh, coherence, so much charisma, they swallow it hook, line, and sinker. So living as an atheist in Nigeria... It's, it's still kind of dicey. It all depends on your situation. You just have to be cautious of who you reveal such to. So that depending on who has the most leverage on you, that's who you hide it from. Because majority of these people live secular life. People drink, people have sex. People, it's just a, and they still believe in God. So unless you say the words that you're an atheist, you might as well be like every other Nigerian. We are all bloody hypocrites in this country but once review you don't believe in god you are looked at as a devil and <sighs> we do what we can but anyway 
Thanks for this platform. I also have a podcast, The Ranting Atheist Podcast. I usually share Nigerian atheist stories there and different other things. So thank you for your time. Thank you for this platform. It was good to, to let out things on my mind here. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Iris, and I am uh, reaching out because I've been following God for the last 17 years since I graduated from the grad school. And um, I've realized that this religion is kind of a cult. It's a myth. And um, this God, quote unquote, that is supposed, supposedly supposed to save me, um, he is... Um, done nothing. He has done nothing but only to aid and abet misogyny, um, anti-feminism, uh, gender-based violence, and crimes against women in my own life and in the lives of people around me. Um, I am just realizing that um, I need to get out of this cult, and I feel scared and I feel lost. I'm scared to be alone with this being, but um, I'm gonna find find a way to get out of it. Um, so um, I just, you know, want to alert anyone out there that don't put all your eggs in this basket. Um, this religion is very harmful. It promotes religious trauma syndrome, uh, which is uh, listed in the DSM four category um, as being um, a symptom or being. Uh, a syn syndrome that promotes cognitive distortions, um, self-doubt, uh, increased anxiety, depression. I've realized that um, in this religion, I'm not getting anything positive out of it anymore, and it's all negative. Um, there's nothing but condemnation, um, you know, gender discrimination, um, prejudice, um, you know, even promoting some racist beliefs. Um, you know, it's just very uh, disturbing and alarming. And um, I just want to, you know, just share my own lived experience that um, this, you know, religion doesn't make me want to be a better person. It doesn't make necessarily make me moral. Um, and I don't think it's enough for uh, a God, quote unquote, to be just all knowing or omnipotent, I think he has to be good and kind, and I just don't really find that in this religion. So just um, you know, look at that. Look at the God in the Old Testament. Look how um, quick to anger he is. He is um, you know just quick to dole out punishments, um, instill fear of retribution, and that's all I've been face, uh, facing and dealing with the last, um, especially the last seven years or so, and. Um, you know, I've realized that this uh, quote-unquote God doesn't care about me as an individual, as a woman, um, as a young woman um, in my 30s, but I am, you know, it's like a cult. It's just more about a uh, really sick, um, deranged, um, insane agenda. It's more about shoving some um, agenda or some, you know, sick goal um, down my throat. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you all and put that out there. Hello, I am an atheist uh, from Afghanistan. I brought atheism. Hi, everybody. I'm with you. I'm atheist. I love you, people. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.